Hello everybody and welcome to Island Packet 439 number 25 named AWOL. And uh, so speaking of AWOL, we've got Scott with us today and uh, Scott's going to be behind the camera, but I wanted you guys to get used to his, uh, his uh, face uh, so we could, uh, you know, you know, you get to know both of us here. So obviously Scott and Daryl on board uh, 43925. So we're in the interior today. And you can see that we've got a Sapelli uh, wood. We've got a traditional ivy, ivory headliner with the traditional camel tan IGU or floor. Also forms the seat bases and the berth bases and that sort of thing. And uh, I think we'll start forward on the boat today. Do something a little bit different. So that means we're going to go all the way forward to the owner's head. All right, so in the owner's head, we've got, uh, obviously, uh, if you haven't noticed them before, we'll start out with our shower doors. We actually are very proud of these. They're nice, thick uh, acrylic. They have very high quality uh, hardware on them. The hinges are not going to break. They're going to last for a long, long time. Uh, nice, nicely done. So we're very proud of that. Uh, our growy faucet here in the shower. These folks did not do the extra storage that uh, some of my owners do. So we do have uh, the full shower as it was originally designed with the shower box here for storage. And then uh, below here, uh, this is access through here for the bow thruster. All right, you notice drains all throughout the shower area as well as throughout the head as well. Behind the door, we've got a pull-out trash bin that does lock itself when you put it back in so if you're obviously on a uh, port tack you don't have to worry about that coming open and then we've got a couple of drawers right here you gotta lift up and pull them out cedar line dovetail construction nice quality hard uh, uh, solid wood simply doors those are magnetic door locks that we switched over to the rare tan elegance raw water fresh water uh, toilet, uh, macerating the finest toilet that Raritan builds. You can see the, the salt water, fresh water, or sea water, uh, and fresh water is ch chosen by the switch right there. And then, of course, the, the black switch are the flush buttons. We have Dune Prima countertops in both heads as well as the galley. Uh, we've got the frosted vessel sink. Storage area here. We put an outlet inside the storage box so you can plug in your electric toothbrush or whatever you use, shaver and that sort of thing, and still store them in the uh, in the cabinet out of the way. We've got ventilation uh, up on top with a hatch. We've got a full blackout plus a screen on all the hatches, and then we've also got a, a port here in the head as well. Uh, we forgot to point out that there is a mirror behind the door uh, and the door is all solid wood with louvers for ventilation. Handrails. All right. The owner stateroom. We're going to go start out to port. We have a shelf locker here. Light comes on automatically when you open the any of our hanging lockers. We have storage below uh, we've even opened that up so you can throw a few pairs of shoes uh, in that little drop in down below at the bottom of the of the locker. These are our light controls. When you turn the lights off, the light lights up. So at night you can find it, you can hit it, turns on. That was the overhead. You can adjust them up, you can adjust them down. All of our lights are on dimmer switches except for the touch lights, uh, which you touch for on and off, but our side lights have uh, laid them down completely all the way. Our overhead lights, as well as our hull side lighting dims. So at night, you can really drop the lighting down and create a really nice atmosphere. We believe with the dimming of the lights, you don't need red lights in the boat, but you've got plenty of soft lighting uh, without having to go to red. If you notice the uh, outlets here, uh, we've got several 110 outlets uh, with USB ports. That one there, this one here as well as USB ports. 
Behind the door, we've got the large hanging locker, cedar lined, solid wood doors, all louver. Again, uh, drop in in the bottom of the hanging locker to allow you to, to put extra stuff down there. We've already mounted fire extinguishers. We normally mount them there for the forward cabin. We have soft style latches so that when you're at port, uh, you can close the hanging locker door and it will stay closed. And then when you're at sea, you make sure all the buttons are pushed flush. Good, of course, solid wood door. Uh, these folks have chosen a TV in the owner's stateroom. Another, you know, side fan, side, excuse me, side light. We have a the black fan here. And then we have a shelf locker here to port with two shelves. Again, you know, cedar line, light automatically works off the micro switch. Shelf here, USB ports in this outlet as well. Uh, this is our Maybrew 12 volt uh, 7000 BTU controller. Uh, that is a, a heat pump that's heat with reverse cycle air. If you don't realize how those work, they take the water temperature and they'll increase it or decrease it 15 to 20 degrees, which is similar to your home uh, HVAC unit, which takes the ambient air and either raises or lowers it 15 to 20 degrees. So very, very similar. We do a really nice wainscoting here along the side that we build out of fiberglass at the factory. So that will never... Um, go away. It's not like the legacy boats with the wallpaper that, you know, at some point, honestly, is going to peel off the hull sides. You never have to worry about that. A number of the legacy boats I know are being refitted with our uh, wainscoting. We do have a uh, uh, mattress uh, built by Handcraft Mattress. Uh, it is a seven inch inner spring pillow top mattress. And then if you lift up the mattress and you release the, the locking button, then this entire area here comes up and you've got blanket storage there. You've got access to additional storage here on the side. And then this is actually access to the top of the drawer. But if you pull the drawer out, you actually find that there's a, a access, a hatch there to get into areas of the build that you might get into, need to get into. Again, cedar line drawer. Nice storage area here on the pneumatic pistons. Of course, that holds itself up. Handrails, handrail, handrail. Two large hatches with, again, the blackouts and the screens. Hatch, blackout, screen. Three ports, two large hatches, good ventilation in here. So in the salon we go. This couple picked out the captain's chairs to port. And this has the pop-up, pop-down table. So if you do want to get the table out of your way, you can. Uh, has drink holders that are there all the time. And then you can raise the, obviously, the table if you want to use it. We've got storage back here, uh, as well as storage below that through that drop-in. And you can see that we do a really nice uh, row top uh, storage door there that I think really is a nice touch. We do little glove boxes here. Uh, where you can kind of put your knickknacks in. And then uh, a while back we had uh, the person ask, well, why don't you do a knickknack box for the other uh, captain's chair? So we started that as uh, standard. One thing we do best is we listen to our buyers and our owners and we try to uh, improve every boat. We don't, you know, we really believe if we're not evolving, we're, we're being left behind. So anytime somebody comes and buys a new boat from us, if they come with a good idea, uh, most of the time we'll make it uh, either standard or an option. Uh, what Scott's showing you now is our 120 volt AC system control panel, as well as our 12 volt. Uh, currently, we actually have the shore power off. We're wanting to run the batteries down some uh, so that we can check and make sure the solar is working correctly. 
Uh, we're producing probably a fair amount of solar right now. Uh, and then our air conditioner is still lit up because it's actually running off the inverter. That's our 17,000 BTU Salon air with reverse cycle heat. That's now a variable speed unit and we are able to run that off our inverter. So we don't need shore power for that. Next to that, we've got our 12 volt uh, or DC management panel. So that's where all your breakers are for your DC equipment. And then we've got the digital multi-controller, which controls the amount of uh, power coming to the inverter. And then, of course, they've done a, a smaller display screen down below. I think that's the 9-inch. Uh, we have a Fusion stereo and then uh, the ICOM VHF. We do have a RAM mic in the cockpit that you'll see when we do our exterior video. Uh, the Victron controller, uh, battery still 100% because the, we're, uh, we're drawing 434 watts and the solar is producing 558 so pretty nice, you know, and we've got every light on in the boat and every piece of electronics on in the boat and refrigeration. And the solar is running, uh, is producing more power than, than all the lights, refrigeration, um, electronics are using right now. So that's pretty cool. All right. So the captain shares to port, obviously to starboard, we have our traditional L-shaped settee. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this does pull out to make a double berth. Uh, many of our owners get lee cloths that will attach underneath the cushions here and then up to the handrail. And uh, so that makes a nice sea berth underway. Or for additional people, if you have people out here uh, sleeping when you're underway. Behind the, the cushion, we have good storage area. Uh, this is the little filler cushion that is, fills us in when you make it a berth. And uh, there is a leaf cloth. You see there's additional storage even uh, below this. So uh, it's going to be really hard to find a boat with more storage in an island packet. I mean, that goes down about another three feet. And that's the same thing underneath each one of these, um, behind these cushions. There's similar storage like this. And then you've got a drop-in that opens up for additional storage below. Below the settee, we have our batteries on this side, but we do have storage underneath, still available underneath this one here. <laughs> you remove this cushion back, and you've got a cedar-lined uh, document or papers locker or file cabinet. And uh, this allows you to obviously put your papers here, lock it if you want. And there is another drop-in here for additional storage below, just like the other one. Cushions are parfait. They are the Ultra Leather Pro Parfait. Uh, they did do another TV in the salon. We do full height uh, storage cabinets behind the settee. The, uh, previously, the half uh, cabinets were done, and they really just became kind of a junk catch-all. Uh, we believe this is uh, better use of space. If you want the half cabinets, we can do the half cabinets. We've got... Uh, a book rail here, so if you want to use this area here for book storage, stereo flush mount speaker, a uh, hull side port, and then another uh, 120 outlet with two USB ports. Great ventilation in the salon. One, two, three, four, five, six opening ports. And speaking of ports, these are high quality stainless steel, friction hinge. I mean, just you know, I mean, CE rated, ABYC rated, obviously the, the very best ports you can buy. And we even go to the detail where we slot every screw head, bolt head, exactly the same throughout the boat, inside and out. That's nice attention to detail. I forgot to mention the hanging locker here to port, but since we're standing here, I want to do that. Uh, cedar line, again a drop in at the base of it where you can remove for extra storage below. All right. Bulkhead mounted table, keel step mast, table drops down, there's a leg that drops down to support it. You've got uh, 
dual shelves here for glasses. Then you've got adjustable bottle storage. If you want to, uh, if you like stemmed wine glasses, uh, we can do a little area here where we can hang the stemmed wine glasses below this shelf versus having the second shelf. That's we basically custom design this according to how you want to do it. Pen goes back in. Table's locked. Not going to go anywhere. It's out of the way. Uh, these folks did choose the footstool storage below. So not only does it give you a place to put your foot, but it gives you additional storage. Solid wood floor, 3 8 inch solid sapelli and light maple on a 3 8 inch, inch marine grade sub deck. We do the grooves in the floor on purpose because it will catch all the little dirt particles which have a tendency to scratch the floor. Nice pantry here. You can see it has three shelves in it for, I think this is a great place for canned goods and some of your, uh, your galley provisions. Solid wood, of course. Louvered for ventilation, soft clothes, latches. Doom Prima countertops. Corian sink that we basically fuse to the bottom of the countertop so there's no chance of any water penetration below the counters. Even though we use Kuza board as our sub decks, um, you know, they're, they're, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, Groy faucet pulls out. This is the standard Seagull filtered water spigot. We also filter the water in the heads on the coat side for brushing your teeth. And then this is the optional uh, manual pump uh, water for coat side. So if you lose, I can't imagine it happening, but if you had no battery power at all, or I guess if you, you know, didn't have a spare water pump and you lost uh, your water pump, you, that, you know, at least you could get water from there. Large dry storage area. Normally this would be a microwave, uh, but this has become a storage cabinet and it's even lit up from the whole side lighting, which I think is kind of cool. The reason that's become a storage cabinet is they did the an electric galley. Electric galley includes the Kenyan two burner induction stove top with a smart oven below. The smart oven does uh, microwave convection, air fryer so it's a three-way one cubic foot uh, this is all in a gimbaled box so if you undo the latch the box will gimbal we have a nice shelf and a, a book rail behind it for if you want to do some storage there of course the whole side port sit here and watch the mermaids go by Storage area underneath the galley sink. Light comes on when you open it up. Big, big storage area below. I'll let Scott show you that. Uh, there's a cutting board there to the left. Uh, that's where it's stowed. And then, of course, we put a shelf in here for smaller items. We put a little box in there for soap and uh, more dish type stuff or sink type stuff. Then we have four drawer bank here, one smaller, two medium, and one large. You know, all dovetail drawer construction, all on nice hardware, good quality drawer sliders. The top drawer, uh, these will, this will lift out as far as the dividers if you want to uh, have one larger drawer. Uh, these are the key fobs for the arch lights. So you're able to turn the arch lights on from your dinghy if you're coming up to the back of the boat or from down the dock or anywhere within the vicinity from your friend's boat next door you can be flashing your arch lights up and down when you're at his party right and they are white red blue and green uh, these are the medium-sized drawers two of those and then we do the, the larger drawer on the very bottom Island is, really works well. 
uh, for cooking underway. You're able to brace yourself right here. We've got uh, storage for dishes, which includes plates, uh, medium-sized plates or salad plates, bowls, and cups. If you don't like looking at your uh, plates and uh, galley stuff, we do make doors that come up and hide that. Top drawer is for either silverware or utensils. And whatever you do in one, you do the other in here. Another outlet here with USB ports. These are the screens. So our new style cafe doors have a little lift out glasses, glass piece here where you can lift this out and you can replace it with the screen uh, for ventilation when you're ready to do that. That was uh, from the owners of or buyers of 43922. They asked us to do that. Uh, that's on their current boat, and they thought that was a nice touch, and we agree with them. So now it's standard on our cafe doors. Three and a half cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator. Regular uh, kitchen size garbage bin. This is my cruising world bag that I brought some uh, parts down in. So, you know, nice size garbage bin. That's about half of the size or twice the size of the previous boats. Below that, we've got storage. I'm thinking for trash bags. And we've got a nice pull-out drawer. There is access underneath the floor and the drop-ins. And so you'll have all your through holes. It's not all of them, but most, a lot of them underneath this one. There's five. You notice they're all labeled, they're all double clamped, they're all through bolted, they're all bronze, uh, ball, stainless steel ball valves. And then uh, we have one of the C strainers here as well. And then this drop in here, I think this one's just open, so this can all be used for storage. There is the sink drain under here, but there's a lot of storage under here. I mean, lots of storage. Starboard side aft is the utility room. I'm going to let Scott walk back there as I talk about it. We've got a washer uh, dryer. The important thing about our washer dryers um, is that we actually vent the dryer out the stern. So these do not work well if the dryer is not vented. So don't ever let anybody talk you into one that they don't vent the dryer. They actually try to suck the moisture out of the clothes and tumble it and it takes hours upon hours upon hours is the feedback I've gotten from the units previously that I installed at the dealership because we didn't have the ability to vent them, the ones we installed aftermarket. So really nice to have all this stuff engineered into the boat, designed into the boat and Put into the boat at the factory instead of aftermarket vendors coming in and doing stuff that you know they really don't know what they're doing honestly uh, behind the washer dryer we've got another three and a half cubic foot uh, refrigerator it can be obviously turned up to be a refrigerator uh, but it is designed to be a freezer if you don't do the washer dryer we can do an extra refrigerator freezer in this space or it can become a pantry and then after the freezer we have a storage area uh, with a shelf which we've got all their spare parts stored in right now uh, we have a spare parts list that we give to our new owners and which will allow them to provision the boat with all the spare parts that they might need well most of the spare parts let's say a fair amount of the spare parts they might need while cruising you know you know water pumps and stuff like that yeah uh, yeah obviously uh, they did not choose the water maker, so they have a nice shelf for storage up there. Uh, behind that is fender storage. Uh, we currently have taken the fender rail out that holds the fenders in so that we can open the back door for you. So we'll let Scott do that. The entire wall opens up if you need to, but this is the main access. And there you have our uh, Wabasto Isotemp 12-gallon stainless steel adjustable temperature hot excuse me, water heater. So um, if you did a uh, 
Webasto hydronic heater, it would be back there as well. Uh, we have some through hulls. We have access to the shaft, uh, excuse me, the rudder shaft log. We have access uh, to the steering, steering quadrant. And then there's also similar access on the other side. If you did the aft air conditioner unit, the air conditioner would be over on the port side of that under the lazarette cockpit area. Okay, lights on back there, obviously, as you can see. Uh, we do give you lights in the bilge as well as in cabinets, as well in, in uh, areas where the equipment areas. So, you know, uh, lighting is extremely important to us. 6KW Northern Lights Generator with the main panel just slightly there above it on the aft bulkhead. We also do a remote start and stop in the galley here. Uh, we've got the oil change system there for the engine generator as an option. And then we have the dual ray cores. We see we have the generator filter there uh, below the, the stool. We give you that stool made out of starboard uh, standard so you have something to sit on while you're working on your generator and you're back here in your man cave having fun organizing your tools and your spare parts. Uh, and that does lift up for storage below. Uh, so that's a nice feature as well. And that's standard with the boat. Um, we've got the dual Raycor filters that are standard. And then uh, the bleed pump. And then we also have a priming pump. So what that pump is, we've changed that pump to where it's a three-way pump now. So you can actually prime and then you can leave it on continuously to, to actually uh, polish the fuel through the, the Raycor filters. So if you do get some bad fuel, at least you've got to start on trying to correct the problem and uh, without having to get the fuel professionally cleaned and or removed from the tank. All right. We've got access to the back of the engine uh, underneath that drop in. And then we've got access to the side of the engine uh, through the doors here on the side. And then you can, of course, the stairs forward lift up. There's a light in there. There's a engine room exhaust for ventilation. 170 uh, amp Balmar alternator. Access from the quarter berth cabin as well. Solid wood door here that closes off the utility room. So you can close this door with the generator running. Generator obviously is uh, mounted in a uh, sound enclosure. So it really allows you to uh, keep the generator noise down to a minimum. We don't even have to raise our voice when the generator is running. The stairs are very nicely done. They're solid wood. Top step has storage below it. We currently have the winch handles in there. We've got little storage bins on each side for throwing knickknacks. Uh, non-skid on them. They've got little uh, pieces of wood so that uh, you can actually, if you're stepping on the edge of the stair, you'll see it. It's kind of tilted in slightly. They lift up. They hold themselves up with pneumatic pistons. Obviously, they lock down in place. 80 horsepower Yanmar. Pushes the boat along really nicely. We were out sailing the boat on Saturday, and we're going to post a video uh, of our sailing uh, as well. Nice. We've got our aft head uh, through the salon door. It also has a door that goes into the guest aft stateroom or quarter berth. So dual access to the aft head can be used as a day head or can be used as a private head for your guests. The same rare tan, obviously, uh, macerating, raw water, fresh water toilet, the same shower doors, fan, uh, good ventilation. We've got a port as well as a, a large hatch. We've got good lighting, all on dimmers, the growy faucet, shower seat. So both heads have shower seats, so you can actually shower when you're underway. Have you ever tried to shower 
underway and not sit down unless it's smooth, man. It, I, I defy you to be able to do it. It's just extremely difficult. Uh, the frosted green vessel sink, the Dune Prima countertops, air conditioning vent from the Ford Salon Air. So you have air and heat in here. Storage bin above that. And then, of course, storage below the sink as well. TP holder. Drop-in even opens up for additional storage there. We really try to give you access to every usable space on the boat. Again, the lights comes on, adjusting up and down. Mirror. I mean, the lighting difference between the boats that we do now and the previous boats is night and day. <laughs> uh, you're looking at the quarter berth. We haven't put the cockpit cushions out yet because they're currently detailing the cockpit and the exterior part of the boat. We're going to put those out shortly. We've got actually a, the owner's taking delivery here in about an hour. But I didn't want to not do the video because I know uh, and I appreciate uh, the time you guys uh, spend trying to figure out if a 439 is right for you. We're always available for questions. We're always here to help and never hesitate to call. Scott and I sell all the boats. Uh, and as you may have heard or not heard, we're also doing brokerage island packets as well as uh, trade-ins island packets. So we can help you with basically anything that's island packet. All right, with the door closed, it gives access to the hanging locker. We've got the hanging locker full of their stuff right now. Uh, we've got the standard hatch boards that come here. So besides the cafe doors, you have hatch boards, which if you're in a foreign country, obviously are safer than the cafe doors. Uh, cedar line, they can obviously in two new shore cords, uh, life jacket, safety pack, so forth and so on. Lights come on. Smaller shelf locker here. And again, we've got good lighting. We've got good ventilation. We've got two opening ports and we've got a hatch. So every area has good ventilation. That's something that uh, Mr. Johnson did a nice job on his boats was plenty of ports and hatches. All right, well, I think that wraps up the interior tour of 43925, uh, now named AWOL. And so if you see AWOL out on the water, make sure you wave and say hi to Pat and Monica. And thank you, Pat and Monica, for your business. We were very uh, privileged to have the honor to Build your Island Packet 439 Dream Boat. Anybody else uh, ready to order a Dream Boat? We do have one spot left for the 2025 model year. And then after that, you know, we're a ways out. We had some folks that asked us to move back, which has left a uh, relatively soon spot open. So we can get you a brand new Island Packet 439 sooner than we typically can. Usually people are waiting a year to two. And honestly, this one slot will get you an Island Packet 439 in about nine months or so. So uh, give us a call if we can help you further. And uh, as always, you guys take care, be safe on the water, and God bless.